And the big story at 5 o'clock, federal prosecutors say these two doctors were planning to provide Russia with confidential information in the war with Ukraine. And now they are both on trial in Baltimore City. The married couple who say they were set up were allegedly caught on camera giving private medical information to undercover agents. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Stefan Dingle. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and here on WJZ TV. Those doctors working for the U.S. Army and Johns Hopkins Hospital did not agree to a plea deal, and jury selection is now underway. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at the federal courthouse. And Mike, prosecutors say the couple was hoping to show Russia they could be valuable assets. Is that correct? It is Rick and Stefan, and lawyers alluded today to taped evidence of the defendants talking about how much they love Russia, that it was portrayed unfairly in the media. Now, jury selection is almost over. We're very close to getting a jury. They've ended individual questioning of jurors. A majority of the potential jurors expressed sympathy with Ukraine. Please stop asking my client questions. Jury selection is underway in the trial of married doctors Anna Gabrelian and Jamie Lee Henry. The government accuses them of trying to provide patients private medical records to the Russian government to aid Russia in war over U.S. backed Ukraine. Potential jurors were asked questions including do you speak Russian and have you served in the military and whether their own views on the war would stop them from being impartial. One potential juror told the court she was not a real fan of the Russians. I'm an American. Dr. Gabrelian worked at Johns Hopkins Hospital. Dr. Henry was an Army major at Fort Bragg, a North Carolina base with elite soldiers. Henry also gained notoriety as the first openly transgender active duty Army officer. The couple met in Baltimore but currently live in Montgomery County. Their babysitter. Good, Anya, good. He, um, Jamie Henry, good father. Anya, good mother. The doctors sat together in court. They previously tried to separate their that? cases. Among the government evidence, five hours of video says they met with a confidential U.S. informant who they believed was a Russian operative. Defense lawyers indicated they may argue the government entrapped the doctors. This complaint. Uh, seems to me to be very much of an open and shut case. What these two individuals were thinking is that the Russians would want that essentially put, put clearly and succinctly to blackmail uh, U.S. intelligence officers. The court initially denied reporters access to the jury selection process, citing COVID protocol, but later reversed course, allowing limited access as jurors were picked for the high profile trial. And transparency is important. We're your eyes and ears in the courtroom. Now, the trial is expected to last eight days. Live at federal court, Mike Halgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. And tonight we are following two breaking stories for you. A former Baltimore City police officer has now been arrested after being indicted for child sex abuse. Last Wednesday, 56 year old Larry Tucker was indicted by a Baltimore City grand jury on 16 counts, including sex abuse of a minor and child pornography. The offense has allegedly happened between 2011 and 2013. And Tucker was arrested today at the Baltimore City Sheriff's Office, going to be held at the Baltimore City Detention Center before making his first court appearance.